hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well as in this video we are going to discuss about the guidelines for your technical assessment that is your cluster 1 cluster 2 or cluster 3 whichever cluster you are going to appear for for your upcoming gen c technical assessment this video is going to be helpful because in this video i am going to tell you how much questions and will come from which part if you are selecting for cluster 1 or 2 or 3 what will be the uh, like how much you should prepare which part okay so make sure that you watch the video till complete end and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i'd always try to answer 100 percent of the comments that i receive on my videos so please feel free to ask your questions over there before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you there is a complete playlist that i have created on cognizant preparation make sure to check that too you will find a lot of helpful content i have also shared previous year questions papers also there okay now let's start with the email that you will receive okay so in this email uh, it will be mentioned that cognizant invites you to take the technical assessment okay and here it will be mentioned that dear candidate greeting from cognizant we are pleased to share you that you have been shortlisted for uh, cognizant hiring technical assessment and the duration of it is 120 minutes okay so now you got to know that the duration is how much 120 minutes for the assessment next is please ensure that the msb is downloaded and tested well in advance of the scheduled assessment date to avoid any complications at the time of launch of the assessment click here to download the msb so once you click here you can download the msb very easily and then you need to perform your system compatibility check guys i would suggest that please make sure that you do your system compatibility check because we have seen that a lot of candidates get rejected or does not get good marks just because their system has some issues during the time of exam because they have not done the proper system check before the exam right so i would al always suggest that it will take just few minutes please do the perform uh, please perform the system check of your systems so that you will not get any problems while you attempt the exams next is your click start test button below to start the assessment it will only be available at the scheduled date and time of, of your assessment so don't uh, start it before because it won't be available you have to start at the correct time okay let's see some important points okay so first is your install msb and perform all the system checks and use uh, check system compatibility next is your complete the mandatory sample assessment to ensure the compatibility of the desired device and familiarize with the test environment in case you are facing issue with while lodging msb please refer to the sh shooting document okay so there will be one troubleshooting document you can refer that and uh, like whatever you have issue you can check that part next is your ensure antivirus process in your system is disabled before the starting of assessment only one attempt is available ensure laptop battery is fully charged or desktop is powered throughout the assessment hit the start test only at the specified time for the assessment the start test assessment link will only be enabled as per the start date and time of the assessment do not click f5 or try to refresh the screen doing this will submit the end and the assessment assessment has more than one section so do not click finish test guys this is very very important because what some students do is they they only attempt one part and then they directly click on finish test button because of which the entire test gets finished okay so you don't have to do that next is your sectional timing is allocated for all the sections check the timing carefully and complete each section within the allocated time so with this you got to know that there is also sectional timing okay so you need to complete each section within your allocated time you will be automatically moved to the next section when the current section is completed if it is mandatory to attempt all the sections please ensure your answer the uh, you answer the questions correctly before moving to the next questions as you can't go back to the previous uh, once you skip it okay next is your ensure you select the required programming version language version before starting the code if you change the version in the middle of the assessment already written code will be deleted okay code skeleton contains the class method function details are provided by default the uh, switching is switching or switching previous is not allowed okay is not allowed so you have to remember that i get all these regular questions in the comment that's why i have decided to create this guideline video so that all of you will be help getting help from it okay next is your technical assessment around uh like few details more which are there in the email itself the assessment platform uses ai mechanism to trial track malpractice any candidate found to be using unfair means like telegram will be disqualified from the hiring process without notice next is your cognizant has a zero tolerance policy for malpractice a disqualification may be issued at any stage of the process as in when malpractice is detected and solely at the discretion of cognizant resources from journal to troubleshooting so if you have any issues you will get resources in the email itself system requirement details msb installation details do's and don'ts and faqs you can click on them and then check those 
नेक्स्ट इज लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द सिलेबस एंड हाउ कैन यू प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर इट सो सी गाइज देर आर थ्री क्लस्टर्स क्लस्टर वन क्लस्टर टू क्लस्टर थ्री इफ यू हैव नॉट सेलेक्टेड एनी क्लस्टर देन बाय डिफॉल्ट योर क्लस्टर विल भी क्लस्टर वन ओके सी नाउ इन क्लस्टर वन यू हैव लाइक जावा एंड देन क्वेरी दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन इन ऑल ओके क्वेरी डेटा बेज ए एन एस आई यूजिंग माई एस क्वेल दिस इज कॉमन इन ऑल द क्लस्टर्स दैन इन दिस लास्ट पार्ट यू विल हैव कोडिंग वेब यू आई क्लाउड फंडामेंटल्स कोडिंग वेब यू आई ओके विच मीन्स इन क्लस्टर वन एंड क्लस्टर थ्री दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन अगेन एंड इन क्लस्टर टू वी हैव दिस पार्ट वेर यू हैव कोडिंग फंडामेंटल्स विच इज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन क्लाउड फंडामेंटल्स ओके नाउ इफ यू डोट नो हाउ टू प्रिपेयर अबाउट दिस पार्ट विच इज क्लस्टर टू क्लाउड फंडामेंटल पार्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वीडियो विद लाइक एम सी क्यूज ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर सो मेक श्योर टू चेक दैट इन दैट प्ले लिस्ट यू विल फाइंड इट ओके नेक्स्ट अबाउट कोडिंग ऑफ दिस पार्ट दैट इज जावा पाइथन एंड सी शार्प दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन अगेन आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वन कंप्लीट चीट शीट वीडियो फॉर माई एस क्यू एल प्लीज चेक दैट ऑल्सो वन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन वीडियोज इज ऑल्सो अपलोडेड प्लीज चेक दैट टू ओके एंड वेरी सुन आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू योर कोडिंग पार्ट्स ऑल्सो ओके नेक्स्ट लेट सी द गाइडलाइंस नाउ ओके हाउ मच पार्ट यू विल गेट फ्रॉम विच सेक्शन सी कैंडिडेट्स कैन चूज एनी टू प्रिफर्ड स्किल्स क्लस्टर वन क्लस्टर टू एंड क्लस्टर थ्री फॉर टेक्निकल असेसमेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन ओके क्लस्टर वन स्किल्स इज जावा एन एस आई एस क्यू एल एंड एस टी एम एल सी एस एस नाउ यू हैव टू सी दैट एटी फाइव परसेंट क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑन जावा एंड एन एस आई एस क्यू एल एंड दैन रिमेनिंग विल विन बी फ्रॉम एस टी एम एल सी एस एस क्लस्टर टू इज क्लस्टर टू स्किल्स इज पाइथन ए एन एस आई एस क्यू एल एंड क्लाउड फंडामेंटल्स एटी फाइव परसेंट क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑन पाइथन एंड ए एन एस आई एस क्यू एल नेक्स्ट इज अ क्लस्टर थ्री स्किल्स सी शार्प ए एन एस आई एस क्यू एल एस टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट एटी फाइव परसेंट विल बी फॉर सी शार्प एंड so kindly note that the final decision of mapping will be of cognizant so which cluster you get will be their decision next is your uh, like this is one of the experience from the previous exams that is like you know in cluster 1 there were total 5 questions okay uh, so this is not mandatory okay because some will get mcqs also in html css some will not but this is the general focus okay see first two uh, like you will get writing sql questions okay which will be medium to hard level and you will get 35 minutes next two coding questions okay which will be easy to medium one hour combined you will get and then last Has to fix uh, button okay, which is like your HTML, CSS, JavaScript bit question in which you will get twenty five minutes of time. So hope it will help and uh, you will also get some practice okay how you need to prepare. I have already uploaded a lot of practice videos. I would highly recommend you to watch all those videos and prepare well for it. And if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section of this video. There are many who has already taken their assessments. They can also answer your queries here. If you have any doubts, please you can ask in the comment section. You can join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet because there is a lot of content that is going to come in upcoming time also. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video.